there YouTube, I am here with a best brushes under $6 type video, but these are all e.l.f. brushes that I'm going to talk about. I want to talk about brushes that you can get that are very comparable to the Sephora brand or, you know, higher end brands. And all of these brushes are $6 and under, so you can't beat that. You can't beat that you're going to get quality brushes for $6 or under, and they're just amazing brushes, brushes that I use all the time. So I have been holding on to these for like two weeks because I washed them, and I haven't used them, and I've been dying because I'm like, I need my brushes for specific things back. So the first brush I'm going to talk about, it is from e.l.f. These are all from e.l.f. I'm going to have to look for some kind of, um, for some reason this one does not have the name on it. This one here would have probably cost six dollars. It's the studio line type brush. This one is my baby for bronzer. I love this for bronzer and I haven't been able to use it and I've been dying to use it. The only downfall with this one was I had to re-glue the ferrule to the handle. But that was it. So this brush here, I, it feels so soft. It's so amazing. It is the perfect brush for my face for bronzer. Six dollars, you cannot beat that. The next brush that I have is the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. This brush looks very similar to this one. This one here is just a great, you know, blend out brush. Like I use this for liquid foundation, I use it for blush, I've used it for uh, baking. I mean, it's just kind of like an all around type brush that you can use for anything. Six dollars, feels amazing, feels so soft, and all of these I have purchased with my own pennies. So nobody sent these to me. I, you know, bought these all on my own, not in, all on the same trip, but I have enough brushes that I'm like, you know, I think I'm going to talk about these brushes. So really like this brush. I would probably say this is my number one. And then this one is a really nice brush for a lot of different things, for contour, for bronzing, for buffing, for blending. It's a really nice brush. So gotta recommend that one. All right, now this baby, this does not have a name on it either. But look at this. Doesn't this brush remind you of like the Morphe E series or the Sephora type brushes? Six dollars for this. And I have amazingness. This brush is so awesome just to put powder, finishing powder, foundation powder. I love this brush just to finish off my face. It feels so soft and it is so good and inexpensive. I can't help but to love this brush and I'll have to annotate the name. I'm telling you, e.l.f. has really stepped up their game with their brushes because these last three are amazing. Okay, so one of my newer purchases is this e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush. This brush is great for under eye, setting under eye. This is a good one for contour, good one for highlight. I wouldn't say necessarily for blush. This is a little bit on the thin side for blush, but I mean, you can make it work. But this I mainly use for setting underneath my, or dusting away my underneath, you know, my baking my, the powder that I set my concealer with. So this is the brush that I use for that. It's a really nice brush for that because you can get in all the crevices, you know, help dust away all that baking powder. Baking powder. Powder you bake with. Yeah, you know what I mean. All right, so this brush right here is the Small Tapered Brush from e.l.f. Three bucks. The e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush is another one of those brushes. This is my favorite brush to use with my YBF Neutralizing Powder. I just dip it. Probably why I have that hole because it's just the perfect like underneath brush to get underneath there and highlight with this yellow powder underneath my eyes and make me look more awake. I love this powder, but this brush just works perfectly for that. And what did I say? Flawless Concealer Brush. This is amazing for powder. To be honest, I have not used it with a creamy or a wet, you know, type concealer, liquid concealer. I haven't used it to blend. I'm sure it would do great, but this is my favorite brush to just bake or, you know, set my concealer with. So this brush right here, especially with my YBF powder, is my favorite brush. Three dollars. It's amazing. You need this brush. If any of the brushes I'm talking about today you need, you need this one. All right, so I didn't realize that I had two. But this is the e.l.f. Contour Brush. So 
so this is a really nice brush for getting into the crease blending out the crease going underneath your if you want to put you know some eyeshadow underneath your eye it's you know small enough that you can do that it's great for inner corner but I mainly use it for my outer corner to define my outer V and sometimes I will use this as just a clean brush to blend out whatever I have you know above that so these are really nice brushes and I believe these are just three dollars each and again this is the elf contour brush for some reason this one is kind of crooked okay but the this brush here I have two of them because I guess I loved it so much that I bought a second one. I didn't realize that until I was pulling all my e.l.f. brushes out to do this video. But this is a really nice brush for just, you know, doing that fine detailing. So soft, not going to scratch your eye. I really like this brush. Another brush that I have from e.l.f. is the e.l.f. blush brush. Now, this one it could be used as a blush brush, but the main thing I use it for is for before I got this one, because like I said, this was my newest purchase. This is a small tapered brush. I got this one for that reason, to dust away the you know powder I have used for baking. So this brush can be used for blush, but I like to use this one simply for you know removing the powder or to... Um... No, that's really what I just use it for. Okay. This one I use a little bit more now because I can, it's small enough to put it into my contour. But this one here, the blush brush, I actually just use it for removing that powder. Okay, the last brush I'm going to talk about, and this one was only a dollar. This one is not as soft as the contour brush, but this one is pretty nice because it's very small. There it is there. It is a really good brush for doing some fine detailing. Like if you want to get into that inner corner or or the crease if you want to get it to that outer corner if you want to do you know underneath your eyes this is a really nice brush for that it was only a dollar and it's pretty soft I mean it's not going to scratch your eyes it's just not as soft as this one but it's a little smaller so really really good to do fine detail work and only a dollar you can't beat that all right guys that's it I think that's it for my elf brushes yes that is it so I can finally put these back to use because I'm like I don't want to give them a dirty brush to look at when I'm filming this video you know but if I were to recommend that you go to the store right now and pick up a brush I would definitely say where are you baby where are you <laughs> my baby this is the <coughs> excuse me I would highly recommend picking up the elf flawless concealer brush this brush is just amazing for underneath that eye work and then the next brush I would recommend would definitely be my brush that I use for bronzing. I don't know what the name of this is. I will definitely do my homework before I post this video and you will see annotations of what this sucker is called. This brush is just amazing. It's soft and it does uh, my bronzer perfectly because it's not super fat. The brush I've been using is this brush from Tarte and I just feel like, I mean, it's getting my, 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 <laughs> It's getting like my whole cheek, you know, I don't want to put bronzer in my whole cheek, but then it's too low if I go lower. So that bronzer brush has been my step in since this one has been cleaned and waiting to do a video. But now that bronzer brush is going to come back out and this is going to go back in because this is my baby. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful in some way. Don't forget, if you like me, give me a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and talk to you in the next one. Bye. Okay, okay.